On December 2, 2016, we began to hear very strange vocalizations from bigs or transient orcas on our remote hydrophone network at Orca Lab. We located the two individuals, T68 and T68A, her son. They were really quickly following behind 46B and her group, which included a new baby. We saw splashing behind us. So we turned around and they were chasing each other really fast. We could hear loud vocalizations actually coming through the hull of the boat, so we decided to deploy the hydrophone. And this is when we saw T-68A swim by the boat with the brand new calf in his mouth. We spent the next four hours watching and photographing T-68 and T-68A. They uh, took turns of pushing and dragging the baby around. We didn't saw evidence of them tearing the baby apart or feeding on it. I've been studying orcas for about 50 years and I've never seen or heard anything even remotely like this. In fact, infanticide in cetaceans has only been reported in recent years and then only on a few occasions. There is strong evidence to suggest that the behavior we observed was conducted to help create a breeding opportunity for the male. This sexually selected infanticide provides new insights into the social structure, mating strategies, and even physiology of killer whales. After looking at and studying this species for most of my life, observing this event was kind of a eureka moment.